So thank you very much, uh, Mrs. De La Torre. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your interest uh, in this uh, session at the Innovation Convention. Um, I will just uh, give a f five minutes of opening remarks, just quickly um, talk a little bit uh, about uh, the background and the company I represent. So I'm especially uh, excited to be here today because I am essentially a scientist and an innovator at heart uh, myself. Um, I studied uh, chemistry, chemical engineering, and started my career as a uh, scientist at GE's General Electric's Corporate Research Center in uh, New York. All in all, I have um, registered 30 patents in my young scientist life. And therefore, I, knew, I know that innovation really requires patience and it requires dedication. And I passionately believe in the importance of science and that's why I'm here today. So let me give you a quick overview of what we do at Bayer. We focus on three areas, healthcare, agriculture, and high-tech materials. And our core strength essentially lies in inventing molecules, new molecules, and with those new molecules make new products uh, that people really need. Our mission says it all, I think, buyer signs for a better life, and it highlights our overarching goal, which is to help more and more people live a better life, whereby our science helps us to continuously innovate. We have three subgroups. One is Bayer Healthcare, the largest one, and Bayer Healthcare is among the world's leading innovative companies in the healthcare industry. You probably know all aspirin, uh, which is uh, perhaps the most enduring medicine used by millions of people every day, invented by Bayer 120 years ago and still successfully marketed. But apart from this successful product, we continue to market many new and sophisticated products. And they are developed to fight numerous uh, diseases, including cancers, multiple sclerosis, cardiovascular problems, strokes, etc. One of our most recent new products is a product called Xarelto, uh, which is a cardiovascular product, an anticoagulant, and it prevents uh, the occurrence of strokes for people who have various heart problems. And uh, with this relatively simple medication, two out of three possible strokes for people, for instance, with atrial fibrillation are prevented. So it is just an example of a drug that we recently developed. We have a second subgroup, Bayer Crop Science, and that has a leading position in the field of innovative crop protection solutions, both on a chemical and a biological basis. And then in addition to that, we have a business that uh, provides seeds, all kinds of different high quality seeds for crops like cotton, rice, and vegetables. The priority in the crop science business is to provide technologies that help farmers improve the yield of their crops. And as such, we help the farmers feed the growing world population. Our third group is um, material science, and that's a leading manufacturer of high quality materials that are mostly based on plastics and foams, and are used in a variety of applications. One of them is a, uh, a well-known application of polyurethane foam that is used uh, in many insulation uh, applications and as such helps save a lot of energy. So innovation is important at many levels. For our company, innovation is absolutely essential. Um, it gives buyer also an advantage over our competitors because it's basically an innovation race till the end. And only with our innovations, we can serve the demands of our customers better and better. And this allows our company, of course, to be profitable and satisfy customer demands and continue the model of spending significant amounts of money on R&D, 
that then in turn lead to better and new products. Innovation, of course, also helps the well-being of citizens. A thriving economy driven by knowledge-based growth has the potential to provide all of its participants with a self-determined and prosperous life. And innovation means always generating value for customers and for society as a whole. It's really a catalyst for success and growth. And then on a societal level, of course, innovative solutions should be geared first and foremost to the well-being of societies. We need to respond to the so-called mega trends and major societal problems and challenges such as demographic changes and food security. At Bayer, this includes, for example, our pharmaceutical products to improve health, providing means to create a steady and diversified food supply or creating better materials for housing. And as an inventor company, Bayer has been committed to knowledge-based innovation for over 150 years. Last year, we celebrated our 150 years anniversary. So it requires a very, very deep knowledge of what the markets really require, what society needs in terms of new solutions. However, there are certain members of society who are not convinced of the advantages of innovation for societies and its citizens. They do not believe in the value of innovative products and of our continuous dedication to helping society. And unfortunately, this is often based on emotion. So the, 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 the emotional factor rather than the actual scientific facts. And even the most far reaching breakthrough ideas don't stand much of a chance if they aren't recognized by society. So for us, the difficulty lies in creating and improving acceptance for and to get appreciation for innovation. And only with acceptance and appreciation can innovation truly flourish. And innovation is the only means by which we can overcome some of the great challenges of this time. Of that, I am convinced. So with that, I would like to summarize my introductory comments and would like to uh, ask Professor Ann Glover to come to the podium. <laughs>